back in public session. Um, on behalf of the committee, I'd like to make the following statement in relation to a complaint against an MSP. In accordance with the rules, I will first cover whether the committee agrees with the Commissioner for Ethical Standards and Public Life in Scotland's findings in fact and conclusions on the complaint, and then move on to cover the committee's decision on sanctions. The committee has considered a complaint from Alex Salmond, MSP, about James Kelly, MSP. The complaint is that James Kelly released a press statement on 22nd of March 2015, setting out details of an allegation referred by Mr Kelly to the Commissioner to the effect that Mr Salmond was in breach of the Code of Conduct for members of the Scottish Parliament by virtue of his supposed failure to register details of earnings from publications. The Commissioner for Ethical Standards in Public Life in Scotland investigated the complaint and found that in disclosing to the press his intention to make a complaint, James Kelly was in breach of the relevant provisions of the Code of Conduct and the member acknowledged that that was the case. The committee is unanimous in the decisions reached on the complaint. Firstly, it agrees with the findings in fact and conclusions of the Commissioner. Secondly, it does not consider that the breach in question justifies any sanctions being imposed on James Kelly. In reaching the decision on sanctions, the committee was mindful of the fact that James Kelly acknowledged that he had breached the code and stated that it was an inadvertent breach. Furthermore, he took personal responsibility for the breach and apologised for it. The committee takes all breaches of the code seriously. The rule covering disclosure is important because it allows investigations by the Commissioner and this committee to be concluded in the absence of external partisan comment. The committee condemns, in particular, any breaches which risk causing reputational damage to another member in advance of a proper investigation. It is the responsibility of every member to understand and conform to the Code. The committee reminds James Kelly and all other members that members must not disclose, communicate or discuss any complaints or intention to make a complaint to or with members of the press or the other media prior to the lodging of the complaint or during stages one and two of the procedure for dealing with complaints. Members of the Scottish Parliament will be reminded of this section of the Code. Full details of the complaint and the Commissioner's investigation of it will be included in this committee's report, which will be published later this afternoon. Thank you. Uh, we now move into private session. <clears throat> 